This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we welcome back Newport Marriott. Chef Tyler Kersey is here with a healthy dish because it is Newport Wellness Week. And that means, you know, getting fit, eating healthy, eating right. Absolutely. We're healthy. caring about your health in many different ways. Healthy protein and fresh veggies. We that's, love that. That's what we're about. Especially this time of year because I feel like eh, maybe sometimes yeah, we new go year, for those, new you, those so. comfort foods during the cold cold months. But Absolutely. You can indulge in something like this. A lot of great color, a lot of great vegetables. Take us through what we need. So we're making a seared sea bass with a romesco and uh, corn succotash. A romesco Ooh. sauce is um, basically a pepper and nut sauce. So you yeah. got your veggies, you got your healthy nut proteins. Uh -huh. So for that, we're going to be using roasted piqueo peppers, okay. some roasted walnuts, roasted almonds, mm. a little bit of shallots, a little bit of garlic, red wine vinegar, and olive oil. Can you swap out different nuts if you prefer, or maybe you don't like Absolutely. You don't care for so this. This dish is great because you can pretty much substitute any one of these ingredients for okay. anything you have lying around your house. Good to know. Um, so any sort of roasted red pepper, mm -hmm. uh, guajillo, piqueo yeah. is great. And then we got to make a little succotash, which I love. Yep. So for our succotash, we're going to be using some sweet corn, mm -hmm. some red pepper. We're going to try to carry that through. Yeah. Um, some blanched baby beans, uh, halved uh, cherry tomatoes, mm -hmm. and then for a little spice, we're going to use some fresh Fresno pepper. Um, Are they hotter or, or less than a jalapeno? They're comparable to a jalapeno. Okay. So a good so way to think of it is kick. it's just a red jalapeno. Okay. So Easy perfect enough. To substitute out. And then the fish itself uh, the looks beautiful. The nice star of the cut. show is our sea bass. Uh, real resilient white fish. So a lot of white mm. fish will tend to fall apart when you're yeah, seeing it. Yeah, get really flaky, which is, can be nice. It can be great. Um, but this has more of a consistency of like a tuna or a okay. uh, swordfish. So yeah. it's going to hold up. It's going to be a little bit more forgiving. Kind of meaty. Nice. Right. We like that. All right, we'll gather up all your ingredients. We'll get cooking in just a bit. Now we want to go back into the kitchen. Will, we got to get cooking. We are getting cooking this morning. Uh, Chef Tyler's here in Newport Marriott, which is a beautiful place, by the way. Uh, it's a great place. Seared sea bass a, is what we, uh, we're putting together. What you want to do? Uh, well, we're going to start with searing our sea, sea bass, because okay. that's probably going to take the longest amount of time. So what you want to do is you want to heat up the pan and really get it cranking. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't get it hot, the bass will tend to stick. Um, and if you have the bass stick, you're just going to run into a ton of problems later. Okay. Um, right. So make sure a good hot pan, little oil on the pan. Right, little olive oil. Um, you want to use kind of a high heat, so if you can get a canola uh, olive oil blend. Right, because that'll, that'll be, stand up to it more than, than anything else. Absolutely. So that's, that's going to hold the heat a lot better than, say, uh, traditional olive oil or, okay. say, butter, right. which is going to burn. Yep. You want to take your sea bass and season it. Most important part. And put it on there, make sure you get a good sear on it too, yep. too as well, right? So while that's heating up, um, we're going to start with our romesco sauce. Okay. So we're going to take our roasted red pepper. I love roasted red peppers. Absolutely. We're going to throw that in about a cup. Okay. You know what, if you're going to do that, I can pass them over to you too. Sure, that'd be great. And I'll take the nuts also. That's right here. So we have walnuts and we have our toasted almonds. And those are kind of shaved. Yep. So uh, these are shaved and bleached. Um, it just breaks down a little bit better than, say, whole ones. Okay. So we're going to do about a quarter cup of each in here, about a third a cup olive oil, about two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. This romesco sauce, I know you're going to put it on the sea bass today, but it looks like you could probably put this on anything. It works great with chicken, um, any sort of shellfish if you're doing, say, scallops. Right. Works with that. You're going to want to throw in your salt and pepper, and then about a tablespoon of thyme. Okay. And it's as easy as that. Right, and then just and then just let it go and just kind of blend it over. Let it go. Right. Um, and if it looks a little loose to you, you can add a little tomato paste. To thicken it up. Yep. Okay. All right, so we will let that go for just a little bit, and when we come back, we will give it a try. Also, Newport Marriott is a pretty beautiful place, and we'll talk uh, talk about that as well. Back to you. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen, Chef uh, Tyler Kersey's here. Newport Marriott is the restaurant here at Sea Bass, Romesco, and Sweet Corn is what we're uh, what we're making today. Now I know you have the Sea Bass. You already um, got a good uh, sear on both yes. sides of it. You put it in the oven. So sea Bass is in the oven, uh, 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, depending on what uh, temperature you like. Yep. So for our sucker dash, we're going to start with some shallots, about a tablespoon, and then about a teaspoon of garlic. Okay. A good two to one ratio on uh, 
shallots to garlic. Now you're going to want to sweat these just so the oil can kind of absorb the flavor. All right. And then we're going to go right into about a quarter of a cup. You dice those up. Diced red pepper. About a half a cup of our sweet corn off the cob. You're going to want to throw about another quarter cup of our blanched butter beans. Mm -hmm. And then for a little heat, we're just going to give a pinch of this Fresno pepper, which we said earlier is a lot like a jalapeno. All right, so it has a little kick to it. Yep. We're going to throw our seasoning in. That looks so good. And then you're going to want to wait a little bit, cook this down, um, deglaze with our wine, really soak up those flavors. Man, that smells so good. And then we're going to throw in an additional about a half a cup of tomatoes. Okay. So a real colorful, right, boisterous dish. Right. That looks right. A little parsley on top. And we're just going to let this cook down for a couple okay. minutes. All right. So while that's sitting, I know before we you you mixed a bunch of things for the uh, romesco sauce. Yes. Did you have soup? So we heated the romesco. So we're just going to um, reserve this for plating. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to kind of act as our bed. So all the flavors are going to mix into the romesco. So you put the sea you put the sea bass on on top of that. Correct. Okay. All right, so while that's going, the sea bass is in the oven. Let's talk about the, the Newport Marriott. Yeah, so, so a lot of people think Newport is uh, summertime, but you can go down there now, and it's a great place. It's absolutely. Yeah. Any time of the year, it's great. I know football is winding down, but we still have a lot of great specials. We're running a lot of great app specials Friday and Saturdays mm -hmm. in our skiff bar. Main sale, we're doing. Which is a nice place. It's a great place. <laughs> it's, already, it's a great place. <laughs> Main sale. Um, we have our two-for-one special Tuesday for, through Thursday, and I think the best deal in town is if you're an Aquidneck resident, it's 20% off. That's great. So if you can't beat that, I know going out in Newport, it can get get pricey. Sure. So any sort of deal that we can find. Right, works out for everybody. It's great. And what are some of the other things on the menu? I know today you're obviously making sea bass, but yep. I'm sure you have So this is, this is kind of our tribute to Health and Wellness Week. We're going to be running this as a special all week. Mm -hmm. um, just a real healthy party dish that's going to keep you warm, especially on days like today. Right, right. It's 20 degrees. So I think we're good here. Okay. We can start plating. So I heated up some romesco. We're going to throw this in our squeeze bottle. If you have so you, a, took, you took this here and you put it in one of those squeeze bottles, right? Yep. Okay. You can't go wrong um, adding a little bit of flair right. when plating. So then we're just going to come over top and just like, just like you're making a pizza. Nice. Come back over here. Add our succotash right on top. And like I said, all these flavors are going to really mix together. And all of these flavors would go well with anything, even if it's just chicken, oh, if it's steak, amazing. Anything. And you can substitute if you have if you have zucchini, squash, anything lying around the house, throw it in your succotash. And it'll work. It'll work. So we're going to take our fish out of the oven, 350 for about 15 minutes. Right. And you see, he was saying, make sure that before you put that sea bass on the pan, make sure that pan is flaming hot. Yep. Because it really needs to have a, uh, a and good I like, sear on it so it doesn't stick to the pan. And I like to put it in the oven sear side down just to really ensure that you're going to get a nice, hearty, crisp sear. Okay. And then we're just going to finish with some micro rainbow greens. Put those on top. And there you have it. And there you go. Excellent. So if you are, if you're looking for something healthy, a healthy dish, if you want to go to a great place, this time of year you can head on down to the uh, the Newport Marriott, get something delicious to eat that Chef uh, Chef Tyler will put together for you. And if you would like this recipe, you can find it on our website. That is Roadshow.com.